Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I'm going to do something different. Uh, instead of my regular uh, oracle and tarot card readings and channeling, I'm actually going to be reading a crystal ball. Okay, so this is a rhodonite sphere. And I got this, uh, I'll tell you a little bit of history around it. So I got this crystal recently for, from a metaphysical store. So what happened was I went with something else, you know, I wanted something else. But when I saw this crystal and I held it, I was really drawn to it. And I felt like I needed this sphere, I needed to get the sphere. Um, I'm not worked with crystal balls and I don't consider myself a crystal reader, crystal ball reader. However, I'm a channel and a medium and I can channel messages literally from anything. So basically I got this sphere and I did not know much about rhodonite. This is a rhodonite sphere. And uh, I asked at the store as well and they said it's for emotional healing and it's very good for the heart chakra and I thought you know what it's a great crystal and maybe I can work with it for my self healing so that was my basic intention when I got the sphere that maybe I needed and yes it's, it's, it's got a beautiful energy and I can feel that loving vibration coming from it however since the past two days, what I'm noticing is every time I look at it, I see faces pop out of it, okay? So it's like, I look at it and I'll see a face, and then again, when I look at it, it's a different face, and you know, so I'm like, okay, so what is this going on and what's happening? And um, I don't know what to make out of it. And uh, I feel like I got this with the intention of self-healing, but it feels like, uh, the sphere has a plan of its own <laughs> or something like that and it's trying to show me something else so you know what I'm pretty open to trying new things and um, so I will be reading this crystal ball for this week's reading and setting the intention to give me messages for you guys for the collective and see what pops out okay and what i want you guys to do is give me the verdict as in what do you guys think do you guys think i should just use this for self-healing or i should use this fear as a scrying tool okay so that is what i leave to you guys let me know in the comment section i'm just burning some sage before i get started with the messages from this crystal ball so let's see okay so when i made this decision that i want to actually um use this crystal ball i felt like a lot of uh like intense energies in my crown chakra and even right now i am feeling that so okay let, let's get started okay guys give me a moment to connect with my guides give me a moment to connect with the sphere and even as i close my eyes i'm seeing a female uh, a picture of a female and what i'm getting uh, from spirit is you have a picture of a female by your bedside or on a table or on a mantle or something like that and this female is very important in your life that's what i'm hearing okay this female is someone who is very important to you okay now let's start with the sphere what am i getting with this I'm seeing a puppy also okay like a puppy dog and it's like you know um, that that was very close to you or you felt a connection with this dog for some of you you're gonna get a dog okay so what am I getting okay I'm what I'm getting is you feel very lost right now okay you you feel very lost there's a lot going on uh, you're trying to you're trying to find yourself through these pieces, okay? Someone 
someone is going to show up with with the message or someone is going to show up with whatever you're looking for there will be someone coming to you with the missing information okay so whatever information you're seeking it's like you're going to get pieces of it through through a connection or through someone getting that someone is hiding their true feelings or their true intentions but it's like they're watching you or they're keeping some tabs on you i see an eye i don't know if you guys can see it sorry for the glare but yeah it's like it's an eye that's watching you midst of a lot of shifts okay you're in the midst of a lot of shifts but even in the shifts it's like everything that feels confusing to you it's like spirit is sending you signs or i'm seeing a heart okay so it's like you feel uh even though you feel lost it's like you are supported even though you feel lost that's what i'm trying to say here Dragons may be of significance to someone. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing you also kind of silently shed tears. And even the tears are shaped like a heart. So it feels like um it, it feels like you have cried for love or you have always wanted love. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing like a turtle. So it's like everything's happening at a very slow pace. Okay, you you're being very patient through this transition, but I'm seeing that you, there's a lot of emotional burdens that you are carrying. I feel like some people mishandled you or like when you were with them they didn't value you they didn't treat you good or they just kind of it's like they underestimated you or they devalued you in some ways also what i'm seeing for some i'm seeing a move there is a home there is a home or you are relocating also seeing a crab in this okay so some of you are cancerians or um yeah cancerians are normally i think it's the month of july right that's when cancer has its birthday uh you may be you may have cancer in your uh, chart like i am cancer moon okay so I, my moon is in cancer okay what else <clears throat> For some of you, you're putting your energies in several different things at one time. And you're hoping for something to work out, but it's like you put your energies in different things. I'm seeing the letter N, C, D, L, again C, yeah, I'm seeing C again. your blessings okay so spirit wants you to whatever you're going through just stay focused on the positive you know stay grateful for all the blessings that are happening in your life no matter how small you feel they are just focus on that okay let me 
you see. Yeah, I'm seeing a heart again. But I also feel like this is very interesting the way I'm seeing. It's like parts of your heart are being ripped away or parts, there are pieces of your heart that are that are in different places or with different people. I know this sounds really strange, but that's that's how I'm seeing this. Some of you really want something to change in your job or <clears throat> sorry, in your work uh, or in your career. It's like wherever you are, you feel very burdened. You feel like it's not what you want. You want, you want to seek a different um, outcome or you want to seek other opportunities, but it feels very far-fetched. It's like, how should I get there? How should I reach that point? you're not sure right now you're hoping that some other people will help you but that's not happening also at least not now some of you you're working on something and right now it's starting very small but a lot of people are going to start talking about you and then it will be like some people are going to start talking and then it's like it reaches one circle and then it reaches another group of people and then so on so forth okay and it keeps increasing in volume so whatever you're starting like start off it may start off small but it's not that's not the end result okay there's a lot of potential so keep going somebody has three kids and you're really worried about one of them or one of them is causing a lot of problems Yeah, I'm seeing the letter V, V for victory. You have to work on your fears, okay? You have to work on your fears. You also have to work on your heart chakra and clearing out past resentments because it's blocking whatever prosperity you want to attract into your life. It's really blocking that. So the more you work on your heart chakra and you release and you release, uh, you know, past wounds or past hurts or whatever, you're going to find newer energies and newer opportunities. It is actually blocking you a lot because in your free time, you're, you're always thinking of who did what wrong to you. And that's really what is blocking you. Like forgive those people. I'm seeing at least three people that you need to forgive and let them go okay let them go because they're really uh, blocking your heart chakra from opening up and it's some it's people from your past and you are you are very upset for some you know you had a parent or some kind of a um, figurehead okay in your life who told you a lot of uh, nonsensical things when you were a child okay like you're not good enough you're not smart you can't do this because this person had a lot of issues this person had a lot of burdens and it's almost like energetically you took all this burden on you took all this uh you know all this negativity from this uh from this authority figure in your life and you took it you personalized it everything but it was their issues that they never dealt with and they projected onto you okay I'm also seeing a very proud female here. Someone who's very proud. But I'm also hearing from Spirit that you know when to keep your distance, okay? And where to keep your distance, you know. You know, and uh, Spirit is protecting you. It's like there's an angel standing between you and this person. I also see some people gossiping. They're gossiping. Someone's getting a headache. There could be arguments. There could be arguments at home or differences of opinion. Like you need to spend time by, by the water or by the river or something 
and just focus on that okay uh don't focus on these energies yeah focus on self-care take care of yourself uh eat nourishing foods step out in nature okay go by the water go by the lake uh, you know spend time next to a tree and kind of just kind of heal your energies okay there is a female figure who is watching over you this uh, female figure in spirit she really liked to dress up um, elegant is what I want to say yeah, she liked to dress up elegant like she liked her hair to look nice or she dressed up nice that's what I'm getting I'm also getting don't keep looking back at your past okay you you keep looking back at your past and that's like spirit is trying to show you your way forward but you keep looking at what you've lost what's not worked for you and you need to stop that yeah I see a lot of oppression like oppression in the past like someone tried to suppress you in some way or put some kind of i don't know control you in a way the letter t is also t okay it's also coming up i'm also getting you like you're not talking to a friend but they are thinking about you okay there may be some distance between you and your friend birds are significant you're gonna see like random birds and you're gonna feel some connection or some message you're gonna receive from that so pay attention i'm getting feed the birds okay feed the squirrels feed the birds that's also gonna bring you a lot of blessings I'm also going to be careful of your words, okay? Sometimes you may say something and then you're going to regret why did I say that? Like, be careful of how you convey your message. Yeah, I'm seeing a big pink heart. Spirit really loves you. Spirit is sending you a lot of love. Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, stop here. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, do let me know in the comments section your thoughts about this reading. Okay, I'm always open to new things and hopefully you enjoyed this channeling as well. Thank you so much.